Steve has a uh, presentation today. He's an expert on Toastmasters <coughs> Pathways. This is for Project Level 3, Prepare for an Interview. Steve is preparing his hour-long presentation at the January 18th Toastmaster Leadership Institute, also known as Club Officer Training. His presentation will be on Toastmaster Pathways that day. He will be giving a talk on Pathways. As in any other expert situation, he has to be ready to show his expertise and credibility. Chris has agreed to serve as the interviewer. Said another way, this level three elective project is to help the student practice interview skills. So those ones used in a job interview, press interview, or establishing credibility on a difficult project. So take it away, Chris. Steve. I've been a Toastmaster a long time. I've tried to soak up everything from the original or legacy program. I've jumped into the pathways. I'm the first person in District 15 to have completed any of the paths, uh, presentation mastery, and I have taken the persuasive influence path to level five, the top level, and the engaging humor to level four. So I've I've gone quite pretty, pretty far into the Pathways program, and I've studied it. I've watched how people have struggled with it, watched how people have succeeded with it, and tried to capture some of that with a team that includes Dan Carlin, Dave Morrison, and Terry Gackman. There can be a great deal of animosity in a crowd towards pathways. Uh, explain to me how you're going to deal with those conflicts as they arise and, and sometimes people's general uh, appearance that or attitude that pathways is the devil. <laughs> what I have learned is that the people who have put pathways content together worked hard. It was tested, it was practiced. I, years ago, I had a chance to watch one of the practice uh, semi-secrets things at a club in Salt Lake. The software, however, is inadequate. There are a variety of technical terms such as suck and crap that come to mind. So I hope that I can earn the credibility in saying that I have tried to learn from the good content, but I'll make no bones about it. The people who gave us the software did not do us any favor. Uh, what do you feel that your greatest strength so far from your Pathways experience uh, have been? I have a two-part answer to that. Number one, perseverance. That <laughs> I got through the software <clears throat> with only a few cuss words per day. The second is I've learned things. Even though I've done Distinguished Toastmaster twice and on the verge of the third time in the Legacy Program, I've done all the advanced manuals at least once, there's still new content. Level four projects that I've done, those three level four projects that I've done, required projects, those were very worth doing. And going through those projects, learning what I think I'm capable of learning, it's felt good. What do you think that you can bring to this presentation that no one else can? Everyone in the clubs that I'm a member of, We'll get, and I believe everyone in the room has, a set of tip sheets. I have given to 
members of my three clubs a link to a Google Drive where there is a lot of information that the team has put together. Some of it contributed by Mira, for example, to the projects that I couldn't get to. There is a great way to fall asleep if you ever had that problem. There's a, I call it a reference document that's out on that Google Drive. It's 51 pages long. And it incorporates not only the tip sheets, but a variety of little quirks that I have found in Pathways. And in how Pathways now connects to the Toastmaster website. A good example is when our Vice President of Education will pull down a roster for the club. If you don't have a DTM, say you have Advanced Communicator Call in the old program. Great, wonderful. The instant that you get your first Pathways Education Award, that ACG disappears from the roster. It's still off in the computer somewhere, but now you will be presentation and mastery and report at the end of the So that means the designations that are in the computer will no longer really reflect people's accomplishments. It's, it's there, it's stored, you haven't lost anything, you certainly haven't lost the skills. But that's one of the little quirks that is in this nice, boring document. So I think, <coughs> I think we put together a lot of information, try to pay close attention to how people were getting stuck and what sorts of things could get them unstuck. Is your user guide here to the getting stuck, which I can attest to? Everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get really frustrated yes. when it seems something simple like I've given speech one, now I'm ready to give speech two, but you didn't do the magic dance or say the password. Does your guide help us through those lumps and so. bumps? There is one of the one of the tip sheets, as we call them, uh, tries to capture the most frequent way people got stuck. I will say that TI, Toastmasters International, has improved some of the software problems. And they've got a long way to go, but a few of them have been fixed after people have complained. So it's a moving target. The focus, though, is we all have the opportunity, we all have the privilege of being able to learn. Pathways has its challenges, but there's content out there worth learning. I just came back from visiting my dad. He is no longer capable of learning. I lost my mother to Alzheimer's. I'm losing my dad to dementia. Everyone in this room can still learn. And I challenge you to go out, get into Pathways, and learn. So our, our time is up, uh, but quickly, is there anything that we haven't covered that you feel is important for us to know? Come to the Toastmaster Leadership Institute on the 18th. It will be at the College of Eastern Idaho, 9 o'clock. Brian is our organizer for that. And we'll have some good discussions about the club officer positions, some discussions about club member retention, and I'll be talking about <coughs> Good pleasure meeting you. Thank you.